Hello, my name is Fran Sands and welcome to myboxingcoach.com. Uh, at the end of this video, my hope is that you've got some interesting stuff to work on this week in respect of the lead foot pivot. A hugely important skill um, when you want to develop your boxing abilities and um, it's something that I personally think one of the most versatile skills that we learn in boxing. To get us started, I want you to have a quick look at this video. It's an instructional that I put out probably five or six years ago. It's very short, just talk you through some of the principles of the lead foot pivot. So have a little look at this. 90 second boxing tip on use of the pivot. Easily one of the most underestimated skills in a boxer's repertoire. So from the stance, you can pivot in two directions. I can either pivot that way or pivot that way. And the pivot is beautiful for opening up new angles on the opponent. So if I want to pivot that way, and what I want to do is do it in 45 degree segments. The maximum I want to pivot is 90 degrees. So I can pivot that way, and I can go push off the back foot. I've maintained my stance, and I'm ready to fire these shots. When I want to pivot that way, I pull myself across from the back foot so it's there and I allow the body weight to fall backwards. Okay? Never, so it's from there, there. The maximum I would want to do is there. And while you're performing your pivot, why not throw some hooks to go with it? So pivot in that way, beautiful shot as an opponent rushes on to simply fire the shot into the head. Pivot that way, pivot that way, all driven from the feet. Never let your body weight go over your front leg either. Okay, 90 second boxing tip. Right, so in this first video I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you a little view on me doing some shadow boxing with a real focus on my lead foot pivot. Uh, the first bit of the video is thinking about pivoting at long range the second, well, long and medium range. The second bit of the video is about being up close. Just take notice of what's happening with my front foot. It's easy sometimes to, to look at all, you know, the, the, everything that's going on, all the fancy punches and all of that. Just have a look at the front foot and I'll catch up with you in a minute. Have a look. Okay, so in the first instructional, you know, we really talked about moving 45 degrees or 90 degrees. Um, it's really important to get that concept of micro pivots, micro movements, really small movements. You saw at long range, and indeed at short range, my foot probably stayed in a square about that big for the whole duration of that, of that demonstration. 
Um, I've got focus on keeping that front foot roughly in the same position. So it's great at long range because as the, an opponent moves across quite a bit of ground, you can make micro adjustments. You've got to remember, your feet, for me, they're a gun platform. Your feet are there to be stable, ready to enable you to, to attack and defend, really get those punches off well. So having those really slight adjustments, those micro adjustments with the feet, is really powerful and this is particularly interesting when we work the heavy bag um, now here's an here's another hook go on the heavy bag now it's slightly different using a heavy bag because it's a static thing um, obviously it swings but generally it hangs in the same place and there's something you can do when working long range but also particularly when working at close range so have a look at this again two sections starting with long range and then moving into close range have a look So when we're on the heavy bag and you're doing long range and you're looking to think about using pivots at long range, because the bag is staying there, you can use your pivots, but you also have to do some other little foot adjustments or little small lateral movements, little small side steps here and there and diagonal movements. If you spend time looking at that, you should be able to see some of those little movements, but the, the front foot pivot is definitely there and it's really important. You know, you can especially bring in shots off it that lead foot pivot it, for bringing hooks off it lead hand hooks off it it's fantastic some cut times called a check hook i talked about that in that in that first uh, demonstration video the thing i want you to think about this week right the second bit of that video my focus was on keeping my lead foot right underneath the hang natural hanging position of the bag right and that's what i want you to think about this week Try and do some sessions if you've got access to a heavy bag where you keep that front foot directly underneath the bag when it's hanging in, 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 its, in its natural location. It really forces you to think about what you're doing and how you can open up angles. But it's, it, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of real life because when you're up close range with an actual opponent, you'll find that your lead foot is in between their legs, directly below their crotch on the floor. That's how close we are, right up close. So it kind of emulates that and it's worth doing because it just challenges you to uh, come up with neat ways to use that pivot and bring shots off the pivot, okay? So that's some stuff to work on this week. Um, I hope that you get something out of that. Um, sign up to my book, The Beginning Box of Toolkits. You get all kinds in there, 64 pages packed full of interesting stuff 10 basic skills seven ways to make your shadow boxing excellent the five building blocks of punch power plus how to set out your training regime and all kinds of other stuff plenty in there otherwise i hope that you have a fantastic week um, work hard 
and get the very best out of yourself that you can. Cheers.